hello my lovelies welcome back to my channel this is your girl angel from simply angel tia in this video we're making a valentine's day dress and as you can see here it is red it's my favorite color and we're making it to dress up on valentine's day maybe for date i don't know but we'll and see. this dress is simple to make so you're not gonna take too long to make it because we're using very simple stitches here yeah so before uh we talk too much let's go ahead and get started okay my lovelies so for this project i'm going to use the following items or products and as you can see here i do have this yarn i picked this up from a store close to where i live i've never used this yarn before i'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name here so if you do know how to pronounce it let me know uh, but I will call it Bravo. It's a 50 uh, gram for the skin. It's 100% acrylic and it is, uh, the color is showing as 082222, but I'm going to call it reddish, maroonish. Um, and it is a lightweight number three and recommended hook size is between three to four millimeter, cru uh, millimeter crochet hook um and i believe that is about a g6 ish or something like that but this is pretty much what i'm gonna be using i'm making this uh halter dress into a mini dress so i did get about seven of the skins like this if i use all seven i think it will give me what i'm looking for in terms of the length if it doesn't i will have maybe one or a little bit of skin left okay but make sure you have a few of these and also it depends on what size you're making i'm making a small uh, so make sure you have enough yarn okay all right for crochet hook size i'm going to use a one that is slightly bigger i'm going to use a 4.25 millimeter crochet hook which is a g6 us i have my tape measure here i have some of these around just in case i need it so make sure you always have stitch markers around and i have my scissors to be able to cut my strings okay all right so let's go ahead and get started okay my lovelies so we're gonna go ahead and get started here so i have my yarn prepped and i have my crochet hook ready to go so i'm going to do a slip knot so i can do my foundation chain so i'm gonna start it like this and that's my slip knot here and with this dress we're going to be working uh from the front part and we're going to be working from top to bottom okay so we're starting from the top of the dress and then we work ourselves down um so i'm gonna start by doing a foundation chain of 33 so one two three four okay so i have my chain of 33 here and as you can see that's pretty much how long it is so this is the top of the halter part of the dress and we're gonna work so that it expands downwards like this but the top here is gonna be very small so if you're making yours um i would say measure how long it goes from your uh, collarbone to the other side to see how long this needs to be for you for me for small this is what i'm going to be getting so please go ahead and measure and then make the number of chains uh, based on how wide your uh your the top of your chest is from shoulder from a collarbone to the collarbone okay now that we have that we're going to skip one two and in the third we're going to work a double crochet stitch going in the back loop of the foundation chain so just like that okay and the chain two that we skipped it counts as a double crochet and then you're going to go into the next and do your double crochet again going to the back of the foundation chain okay and then you're just going to keep working like this until you get to the end so by the back i mean if you have your chain like this this is the front of your chain and if you flip it to the back this is the back of your chain so you're making sure you're grabbing that back part of the foundation chain like this I hope you can see i'll repeat that again so you yarn over this is your chain this is what we're going into next you go and grab that lump in the back like that and then you complete your double crochet okay so do this all the way to the end of this row and come back when you have completed it okay my lovelies so i have completed my first row here of double crochet and that is how it looks so you should have something just as simple as that and now we're going to be working uh, where we increase our uh, top the top part of our dress and it's going to start to work out like that 
and i will show you quickly here how you increase that and you're gonna keep doing this for quite a couple of rows before we go ahead and start to uh build up the rest of the dress okay so but this is important here that you uh do the increases and then we're gonna do it on this side here and we're gonna do the increase on this side okay so we're increasing uh on this the beginning of this side and then at the end of this side so to start the second row which is also the increase row we're going to one two so we do our chain two and we turn so again that chain two counts as a stitch and it's connected to this stitch here so as you can see this continues as a line like this and so because of that we're going to add one more stitch into that into the same one there so that makes it two stitches which is the chain two and then the stitch we just did of the double crochet that makes it two in that same space okay and then and now we're going to uh, go ahead into the next stitch and we're going to do a double crochet stitch okay and then we're going to do a double crochet stitch in the next and you're just going to continue this all the way until you have two stitches to go and by that i mean this is a stitch right here that's going to line up with this stitch so, so this is a, uh, the second last stitch here and then this chain two that we we um, we skipped when we started this row is going to be our final stitch so we have one and two so when you do have this one and two left come back to the video and i will show you how to do those final two stitches which is where we're increasing as well and then i'll start the next row with you guys where i will have you then guys repeat until you have the length of this part of the dress uh, that you're looking for but for now just get to two stitches left and then come back to the video okay my lovelies so i have gone ahead and worked my double crochet stitches i have two stitches to go so in the next stitch here we're going to complete a regular double crochet okay and then the chain two that we skipped at the beginning of the first row we're going to go on top of the chain two to do two double crochets so this is where we're increasing is at this final stitch so we're going to do one double crochet then go into the same stitch on top of that chain two and complete your second double crochet okay so that is how it should look like and as you can see it's starting to go outwards already you're starting to see that it's kind of branching outwards and so we're going to start our third row and then we're going to start by chain two so you will always start by chain two which counts as a stitch and then in that very first stitch you're going to do one more double crochet to make it two that's where you're increasing and then for the remaining of the stitches you're going to do just the regular double crochet all the way until you get to the end when you hit the end you do two double crochets in the same final stitch and then chain two turn and then repeat okay so i'm gonna stop showing you guys that from here because i want you guys to build it up so you're gonna continue this until you reach how long you want this part of the halter top to go the halter dress to go so what i will do is i will do mine until it hits my belly uh, just a little bit maybe an inch to two inches above my belly button because that's why I want to start building the rest of the dress in the back, okay? So we're going to start to connect and start working on it from that point on. And it's going to work as a big tube going downwards. Uh, but for now, I'm going to do uh, enough rows that it gets me from the... Um, just right from a little bit below my collarbone all the way down to about a, an inch to two above my belly button which is my waist okay so go ahead and work this part and when you have that i don't know exactly how many rows it's gonna take me i'll let you know when i come back but just work it until you get to that point and then come back and then we will explain how to go and work on the rest of it together okay see you guys in a bit Okay, my lovelies, I have gone ahead and completed the portion that is the halter part of the dress. And as you can see, this is how it looks like. So we pretty much started up, up on top here and we worked ourselves down as we increase on each side. 
and I did about 26 rows all together and this gives me let's see what the length is it's about 10 inches from the top to the bottom okay so that's what I have so far I will also measure this length here because this is going to determine for me how long I have this and how much more space in the back I need to create chains for so as you can see here this is about 20 almost 22 inches okay well we cannot see that so let me move it up like this so it's about 22 inches as you can see right here in this bottom corner let me just move it up like this so it's about 22 inches from here to here okay and my waist uh is about uh 26 26 27 we'll go to 27 um so i have from 22 to 27 that i need to do the uh connecting in the back okay so i need to do a chain that is going to give me that length here and as you can see i stretched it a little bit this is very stretchy so when you measure it make sure you're stretching it a little bit but also my waist that is about 28 inches I reduce it to 27 because I know there will be a stretch with the chain that we're creating as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put the tape measure away and then we're going to start the next part. So what we're doing here is we're going to try and connect the back of the dress like this, but we cannot connect it from this corner to this corner because it will be too small for this length here. We need to be able to create the length of our waist, which I just measured mine is 28, but I'm going to do, and I already have 22 here. So I'm going to do about six more inches of the chain. Okay. So what I will do is I will do, let's do a chain first, and then we will kind of measure to see how much that is. So one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. So that's a chain of twenty. We'll measure it just to make sure we have that extra six inches, seven, five, six inches. So if I measure this here, I have about five. I think what I will do is I will leave it at five, or I could make it six. Because this will expand a little bit as well. So if I do expand it, it does go to about five and a half. So let me do more chains to bring it up to about um, uh, six inches. So I have 20 here. Let's do five more. One, two, three, four, five. And then we will see what that brings us to. I may do one more to make it 26, but we will see. Yeah, so it gives me about a little bit over uh, twin, uh over the six inches so i'll leave it at 25 uh i will leave it at 25 so that's what we're gonna leave it at okay so then what we will do is we will take the dress and then we will at least the part this part of it so far and we're gonna line it up like this and we're gonna slip stitch in the very corner of it here so this is the chain two that we use to turn and i'm just gonna slip stitch on top of that so I'm just going to do something like this. Let's, let's do that over because I think I need to go into it like this. That makes more sense. And then I can bring it in uh, like this and then into this. Okay, so I slip stitch it like that. I need to move the yarn over like this. Okay, so we have joined the two parts like this. So now we can start to work on the body of the uh, of our, our dress, but we have to start in the middle here because we don't want the seam to be in the corners and on the side of the dress because there's going to be a seam because we're turning around. We're going around and turning. There's going to be a very visible uh, seaming of the dress. So what we will do is we will count out the middle part of this. So one, two, three, four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve if i do 12 on this side and i do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve the middle is the one that is here because we do have 25 uh stitches it makes sense that the middle will be the 25th that is in the middle so we're going to leave the stitch marker there i'm going to cut off this yarn here we're going to disconnect it so we can do 
the work from the middle instead of from this corner so i'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch that and just kind of pull it and hopefully when i work around i will bring it and work around that but for now we're gonna go ahead and do the joining back in the middle here so we can continue to work with our uh, stitches so what i will do first is i will do a slip slip knot here like this okay and then right where the stitch marker is i'm going to remove it and i'm going to go to that middle part but i'll grab the back loop like we have been working and i'm going to go ahead and bring that through that and then i'm going to do my chain two to do my double crochet so that chain two that i just did counts as a double crochet and then now what i will do is i will work in the back of the next stitch right here and do my double crochet okay just like that i'm gonna do a double crochet then i'm gonna go into the next which is this one here while i'm still kind of weaving in my leftover yarn from the thing here and do a double crochet then i'm gonna go into the next and we're just gonna continue this until we pretty much have finished these 13 stitches or 12, 14 stitches over here however much the, the stitches on this side was and when we finish this we're going to continue to work them across here but for now just work the remaining stitches here on the chain when you have reached here come back and i'll show you how to kind of transition and continue on that side okay so you see so you guys in a bit okay so i completed my double crochets in this corner here and so the next one so i just did it in one there so i'm going to do the next one on top of the chain two here so we're just going to go straight and transition to that side like that and then the next one is going to be the next stitch so you continue to pretty much do your double crochets on every stitch going this way and as you can see again where i cut off the yarn i'm continuing to weave it in so i don't have to worry about weaving in this later you don't have to do the same thing you can obviously just let it hang there and when it comes time to weave in your ends that's when you can do it but sometimes when it's easier to just kind of work it through the work it's a uh, I, I usually do that or sometimes I just let it hang if I cannot work it into the body of the of the outfit uh, easily then I just let it hang and I do the weaving later okay so go ahead and work your double crochet just like we have been doing all around and then when you get to here you're going to do the same thing uh, along the the side of the uh, the the part of the uh, chain here where you have to make sure this is the front of the chain here and when you flip it is the back so you're going to continue to work through the, doing the back uh, of the chain and doing your double crochets until you have reached the last one here when you have reached that last one come back and we will go ahead and move on to the next uh to the next row together okay see you guys in a bit okay my lovelies so i have worked my double crochet stitches all the way from here where we started in the middle and i've gone all around and i'm back to the middle so as you can see this is where we are now hopefully you can see this properly um so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna slip stitch on top of this chain two that we created i'm just gonna go to the very first top stitch here and i'm gonna slip stitch just like that okay and then we're going to start working back this way because of the type of stitch that we're doing we cannot continue to go like this is going to move our seam uh on the side so if we do work to here and then we turn and then work back and turn it's going to keep the same straight down like this okay so i'm going to do my chain two just as per usual then i'm going to flip this way and i'm going to start doing my crochet double crochets just the way we have been doing and going around until i get back to this place where i will then uh, slip stitch on top of the chain two that i just did for this row and then uh, uh, do chain two turn and then repeat okay but i'm going to explain a little bit what we're going to do for the next couple of rows so i am going to work uh, about six to seven rows this is the first that we just completed the one i started right now is the second i'm going to do about five six let's say six to seven or six to eight 
uh, rows that are just continuously repeating themselves like that. And then that means that I've moved it down my tummy and it's going to end up hitting the beginning of my hips and where it's going to start begin with uh, it's start to go where my hips begin my hips become wider so we're going to need to start increasing okay so let's do this first so that we're creating kind of like uh, a little bit of a a smaller uh waist because we're still going down our waist this just when uh as you saw it's just going right above my belly button and we're gonna need to do it so that it crosses our belly button and goes a little bit lower and then we're gonna start to increase because our hips are gonna start to get wider okay so i'm gonna do these five to seven or seven to eight or however many rows that i need so make sure you're measuring measuring from where we stopped the halter top part of the dress to where uh your like kind of like your um, hip bones start and when you get to kind of like what that sizing is or what that length is, then you're going to come back and then we're going to start to increase our work so that we are creating something that our hips will fit into. Okay. All right. So go ahead and do that. When you have the number of rows, I'm going to do about five to six to seven, uh, whatever that's going to be. Then I'll come back to the video so I can show you guys how to start increasing. See you guys in a bit. Okay, my lovelies, so I have done about three inches of the uh, dress here. So from the way we joined it and all the way down, um, I did about, like I said, uh, eight rows, which is about three inches. And as you can see, this is pretty much how it looks like. So I just realized this as I was working on my project. This color, this second color that I changed to here is a little bit lighter than this. This was absolutely an accidental uh, thing. I got these here, I'm thinking they were exactly the same color, but it turns out that I have one that is a little bit darker in color and this one is a little bit lighter. Not that it's gonna make a big difference in the uh, project here at all, but just wanted to mention that if you do see that one color is a little bit lighter than the other, that's the reason why. So, but I think it's gonna work out fine because it gives it a little bit of a different shade there. Okay, so again, so just for measurement purposes, this is what I wanted to do here. It's about three and a half. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit under three and a half uh, inches for this section here. But more importantly, it's eight uh, rows that I did here. And so now we're going to increase. So if I was having this dress on, this part here will fall just right until where my hips are about to start, where the hip bones, let's say, for example, is about to, to start. And so we're going to start increasing at this point because we want it to start going outwards so that it does fit us properly when it's time to wear it. If, for example, your waistline is the same as your as your hip line or the measurement of your hip is the same as your waist which it's possible that there are people who have that type of a shape then you wouldn't increase at all you will just continue to work on it the same way and therefore it's gonna fit you fine but for those of you who have wider hips than their waistline then you definitely have to increase otherwise your dress will be either too tight or it will probably not even fit at all okay all right, so I have completed that eighth row. This is going to be an increased row, which is the row, uh, row nine. But what we're going to do is we're just going to start it as usual. So as you can see, I've already slip stitch here. So let me just go back here so I can show you. We're going to slip stitch just as usual. And then we're going to do our chain two and turn and then work our rows as per usual. So I just do a slip stitch like this. And then I'm going to do one, two and turn. And I'm going to actually just do a normal row for this until I come to the end. This is what we're going to increase. We're going to increase at the end of each row from now on until we have passed the, um, the widest part of our hips. Then we're going to st stop to increase. But for this here, we're just going to go right into the next stitch and do our double crochet. And into the next stitch and do a double crochet. And we're going to continue this until we have one last stitch to go, which is the last one where we're going to increase. So we're going to do two double crochets in the same stitch for that last one. And then again, we're going to continue to do that 
until we have bypassed the widest part of our hips but for now just do this crochet your double crochets all around until you come to the final and when you have one stitch which is the last one left come back to the video and i will show you how to do an increase there and then we'll go ahead and uh repeat that for uh, quite a while until our dress is pretty much past uh, a certain point see you guys in a bit okay my lovelies so i have reached the end of this row here which is row nine of the additional part for the dress and i have one to go so this is where we're gonna do our increase so we're gonna do a regular double crochet in that stitch and then we're gonna add a second one so we have two in the same stitch there and then we're gonna slip stitch onto the chain two from this row beginning of this row and like that and then we start the next row again by doing our chain two and turning and then we're just gonna do a regular um double crochets all around until again we come back to one stitch before we connect the sides and we do two double crochets in that final stitch just like we did right now and then we're gonna you know slip stitch again turn chain two and then repeat that okay so you're gonna repeat what we just did in this row nine until we have a size that covers that goes below the widest part of our hips so for me i measured from about where this starts which is right above or below my belly button just a little bit below my belly button where my hip bone start if i measure that going past the widest the widest part of my hip it's about 11 inches so i'll do between 11 and 12 inches all together down and then when we have reached that i will come back to show you guys what that looks like and then we stop increasing so we're just going to do regular double crochets all the way down until we get to the length of our dress but for now let's create these increase rows until we reach whatever length yours is mine is going to be about 10 to 11 inches and then when we have that done i will come back to show you how that looks like okay see you guys in a bit okay my lovelies so i have gone ahead and crocheted my dress down so i am now at this a length here um and not just the length but this is more what is important so this is the widest part of my hips if i give this a little bit of a stretch here like this and i measure this one side it comes to about 19 inches and that 19 inches times two which is for uh, adding the back of the dress or the other side of the dress gives me that my 38 inches that i'm looking for for the widest part of my hips so this is pretty much where we stop increasing and so now for uh the next uh many rows i would say maybe about 15 to 20 rows i am going to be working on this uh without increasing so instead of increasing uh when we come around on each round here we're just going to work it in a circle and it's, we're going to continue to do it until we have the length that we're looking for okay so in that case here this is the last row that i just increased so the next row that i do as you can see this is the increase right here and so the next row that i'm going to do i'm going to do just a normal row of how uh, of double crochet when i get to the end i slip stitch to connect the, the sides i chain two i turn and i continue to work on the other side and i continue to do that until i have uh, completed the length of my dress so for now this is how long it is it's not too long um yeah so go ahead and continue working your dress from this point on without any increases and then when you have uh reached the length that you want for your dress then you come back and i will do the same and then we will look at how uh, the whole thing looks okay so you guys in a bit okay, my lovelies so i have gone ahead and just kind of worked a little bit longer down the dress here so as you can see this is where we stopped increasing around here and then i just kind of did the normal double crochets around up to here so that is where i'm gonna stop because it's a mini dress and it's a fitting mini dress for valentine's day um so i'm not gonna make it too long but this is pretty much how the dress looks like this is the back of it and you can tell right now the color difference is very clear i talked to you guys a little bit about this earlier how the color i thought i was buying the same color but it turned out there's a little bit of a difference in shade there but this is probably the this is pretty much the back of the dress um and then this is the front so the front is just uh, very very straightforward it goes uh it has like this halter part of the top here and then it goes down into like a very nice and straight down dress 
but that's pretty much it so what i will do here is i will end this yarn here so i'm not doing anything else i'm just gonna disconnect this here and i'm gonna do a slip stitch to close it off or a slip knot i should say just to close that off there and then what i will do is i will explain to you guys how i do the strap so i'm not actually gonna do it with you guys but i will explain it so what i will do is i will connect my yarn right here and then i will do a chain let's say of about 200 between 150 to 200 and then i will come down the chain and do slip stitch uh, slip um slip knots or slip stitches okay so what i will quickly show you here is just a sample of how i would do that so i would connect it right here then do as long of a chain as i could possibly do and then i will go down that chain and do slip stitches okay so let me just do a quick chain here so i can show you what i mean by coming down of it with a slip stitch so let's say this was your chain of 200 and then when you finish that you come down not this stitch here but this one you come down that and do a slip stitch like this okay so that's your slip stitch and then i would go into the next and do a slip stitch and go into the next and do a slip stitch and this is going to make the chain a little bit thicker so this is the chain the regular chain right here and this is it when you do a slip stitch it create, makes it a little bit thicker so and then you do this all the way down which will bring you back to where you started the chain and then i'm going to do a row of single crochets right here to bring the yarn to the other side and then what i would do here is do another chain matching whatever number of chains i did on this side so let's say 200 chains and then when i have my 200 chains i will do the slip stitches coming down all the way to here and when i get to here i will disconnect and i will have these long straps that we will then weave into the back of the dress so i will also do that offline so the string that is on this right hand corner is going to connect to this side here and then the one here will connect to this side so you will have a, a cross right or like a, an x right on top of the dress here and then i will weave in the neck the rest of it down like this all the way to the bottom of this section here and then i will weave in all of my ends here i will weave in this end here where we disconnected the 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 last of the project and so when i come back i will show you guys how i have completed the straps and how i have weaved in the straps to the actual body of the dress and that will be the end of the project okay so go ahead and do the same and i will see you guys when you have completed your straps okay my lovelies so i have gone ahead and completed the straps as we talked about so as you can see this is how the straps look this is how it's gonna look on the back of the dress and i did it obviously long enough that when we do put these on this is gonna expand a little bit just because our body have to fit in here so that will give us enough strap to be able to tie the uh, straps in the bottom here so if this does move in and out that is okay um, but i did about 200 chains per side uh, and then with doing the uh, slip stitch down the long chain to make it a little bit thicker like this it does shorten the length of it a little bit like that but this is pretty much how the dress is and it is done so i would like to take this opportunity to thank you guys for watching the video to the end thank you so much and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please go ahead and do so and make sure you like and then as well as comment if you have any questions okay thank you so much and i will see you guys in the next one bye